I'm just going to set up here behind my wheel because they're getting a little bit of a breeze on and off. And that'll be a nice wind block for the whole project. Set up right there. And I'm going to set this up with a Swedish fire torch. Little bit of easy light fire starter. Get that down in there. That'll get us a little jump start on this project. That's so popular. Okay, we're gonna make quinoa and grilled chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the quinoa in, which I'm putting this in the inner pan for the zebra pot. I'm hoping that it's big enough. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to measure out my chicken stock. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to add some green beans in here and just let them cook with the quinoa. I mean, we might overflow that pot. Better stop. Okay. A little bit of rosemary. Just give it a little more flavor. Fresh rosemary. And then... I'm just gonna set these lemons kind of on top, so we'll, that'll impart some flavor into our quinoa as well. We'll see how that works out. Okay, I decided that I would just go ahead and cook this in the upper position, so we went ahead and just put a little water in here, which it's gonna take a second to get boiling. Um, but once it gets boiling, then I think that that will simmer that quinoa just fine up in that upper position. So I'm going to go ahead and put that handle up so the handle doesn't get hot. We'll use the heat until, uh, until the flame dies down. And then when we set it aside, the hot water will keep the quinoa nice and hot for us while we're grilling our chicken. So I think it'll work out for the best either way this way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take off the quinoa and we'll just let it rest over here and start cooking our chicken. This is a nice big breast of chicken, so it's going to take a little while to cook.
And okay, this is turning out pretty good, but it's such a thick chicken breast that I have to just keep turning it. Okay. And then in an effort to get it cooked all the way through, we found a, a pan that we could put over it. I try to get that to cook all the way through. Look at the hot coals from a Swedish fire torch are very long lasting. It's been very nice. So my video wasn't playing and I thought that I had hit record but I hadn't. I transferred the chicken breast in with the quinoa to finish it off. So I put some sticks in the firebox, got it stoked up, and we're just finishing everything off. Let's see what we got here. Woo! The lid sure is hot. I think we're ready, darling. Oh, it's great. Let me see this knife. I'm just gonna cut into it one more time. Oh yeah, we're definitely cooked. I think that quinoa is going to taste good with that chicken stock in the lemon. Yeah, this is going to be good. I should have just, I'm just going to finish cutting this in half. Since I'm so close. Mmm, that looks good. You have a fork? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze these lemons a little bit. Get some of that juice going. Look at that. That's really nice and juicy. Mmm. It's really, really tender. I want to try some of the quinoa and beans. Mmm. Did you taste your chicken yet? Mmm. Quinoa is good. Mmm. There's a lot of good flavor in that quinoa. Yeah, that quinoa is really good. The rosemary is a nice touch. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, that chicken's yummy. The chicken's so nice and juicy and tender, huh? For white meat? Yeah. I mean, maybe it's because we're eating it just right out of the oven, so to speak. But it's definitely really nice. Mm. All right, well, we're going to finish our dinner. And we'll see you in the morning.